I want to try to keep this video at a reasonable length. I want to go through this box here uh, and show you all what's in it. Um, I'm going to start with the items that aren't in the box anymore because I've relocated them to other places. And the first is um, this dial and the minute hand that are on this Style 1A uh, Big Ben clock. The uh, hour hand was the original hour hand and the alarm set hand or the original alarm set hands that were on this clock when I got it. But this dial is an almost perfect replacement dial that was in this box. And I made sure when I bought this box that um, in shipping that the seller took extra care to wrap this dial. Because I wanted this dial for this clock, but I did not know that the, hour, the uh, minute hand was in there and that the minute hand was almost perfect too. It just has a little bit of luminous paint missing there and contrary to what you're going to read uh, different places on the internet this sucker glows all night long and that new luminous paint works just fine and as you can see it's very nice um, and uh, even the, the hour hand is a little bit dimmer than the rest of the markings but it still works very nicely it it um, if I when I use this clock which I have, I have it in my rotation to use occasionally and any time I wake up in the night I know what time it is I just look at it and I can see it quite plainly so this dial and that hand were in this box and just and with a little bit of mother, uh, mother's mag wheel polish on the case it made this clock look um, very nice you can see I need to use some brasso on that matting ring there but uh, compared to the way this clock looked previously I think there's a picture on my website it looks like a totally different clock now. It's got this nice dial on it. So, that's one item that came in this box. The other items that came in this box, uh, I've put in this uh, tray for uh, safer storage, is uh, some uh, new old stock uh, balance wheels and hair springs. And there's even this little ID card in there. And you're going to probably want to um, pause the video so you can take a screenshot of this for future reference. And uh, somebody's uh, written a note here in ink. But I'll just hold this to where you can see everything at once. And it describes how to tell the, um, the different West Clock's balance wheels. And um, so when you find them in an assortment of materials, you know which balance wheel goes on what movement. Now, the Big Ben and America balance wheels really are interchangeable, though. You just need to adjust the um, um, hairspring and collet assembly um, on, the, um, on the balance wheel staff to a different location, as it notes here. But the back when you could get actual parts for each clock it gives notes on how these parts differ from each other and I hope you get a good clear view of this out there and these three uh, balance wheels were balance wheels that suffered some hairspring damage in the shipping and uh, this one is definitely a used used one I'd say judging how the um, how the hairspring is messed up there and it will be apparent how the damage occurred when I show you the other uh, balance wheels you see they're in these little um, two pieces of cardboard with tape and in shipping in that box, this got these, um, oop, I just dropped it too. Uh, they got crushed slightly. These are in very nice shape. And here's a note identifying um, which these come on. And I think the difference in these and these is the shape of the impulse pin on the balance wheels uh, two of these have flat impulse pins and two of these have round impulse pin but there they are in reserve two, um, two of each style brand new 
baby Ben or Big Ben chime alarm balance wheels ready to be installed and be used. As you can see, I think these are the round pin impulse pins, and these look a little chunkier. I think these are the flat pin impulse pins. So that's very cool. And also, a lever. This is a, uh, a lever for a uh, baby bin or a big bin chime alarm. And I think this is interchangeable. Uh, the late style um, one baby bin movements up through the style six, um, no, style seven baby bins, and uh, style three through style six chime alarms. So that was in there, so I keep that in that tray with the balance wheels for safekeeping because it looks to be a nice part. I can't tell if it's used or not. I'm going to assume it's probably used, but it does not look like it's ever been damaged. Okay, we'll get to the contents of the box itself now. And you can see it says Big Ben Material Assortment. And somebody has written Baby Ben Springs on here. So obviously parts have been withdrawn from this box and shuffled around. And um, I think these bags have, these, these envelopes, I mean, have date codes on them because... As you recall from one of my um, Dirty Movement Detour videos, the, um, the uh, barrel assembly in this uh, packet was no good. So I remedied that by um, going online and buying, buying some more. I've been wonderful to find many sellers selling um, these things. And they have a different date code on them. If you look at the at the date code. It looks like a date code here. There's a there's a what looks like a part number and then some additional numbers here and I'm assuming that this is probably the year 1948 and these all have I'll say 1950 on them. And here's one where the package is ripped a little bit. So if we take one of these out You can see what a brand new, unused um, uh, time mainspring barrel and spring looks like. And this is for the later style 5 and style 6 movements where it's not brass anymore. It's steel and very beautifully blued. And these holes are not holes, but they're slots on these later parts. But here you can see, I've been looking through some of the older material catalogs to see what the, um, what the different numbers are. If, if some of these are catalog numbers and some of these are part numbers. And I wonder if this is some kind of a date code and lot number or something that they were able to use to track uh, quality control. But this is one of the uh, packages out of this box. And this is one of the ones that I purchased recently. So I would actually have some of these. And let me set these so I can identify, keep uh, track of them. So let me set those aside so we can go through the box here quickly because the video is getting pretty long now. But there's a um, used uh, Baby Ben Time mainspring. And sure enough, there's a mainspring not in a uh, mainspring clamp. Alarm spring and barrel for the loud alarm, and I'm assuming that this is a new part, although it looks very short. That looks very small compared to some of them I've seen. And once again, we sort of have a date coding going on here. For the model 66 clock, this will be a loop in spring. This steel sealed it's not not been opened 
Baby Ben Time Spring. And this one's this is not sealed. This one's been opened. But the spring is unused. So there's what an unused Baby Ben uh, Time Spring would look like if you bought it brand new. This one's got some, um, I'd call it shelfware, but it, a little bit of steel wool that polishes off really easy. So there's quite a few of those. There's quite a few um, springs. I'll just, another 66 time spring, another 66 time spring. And these have different date codes on them. It looks like they're from 1951, I would guess. Okay, this is the neat stuff that's in here. Here we have pairs of hands, hour and a minute, for an all series of, um, of Big Ben models that it fits. And um, I'll just there's not there's not twelve pairs in here anymore. I I counted out um, nine nine complete pairs of hands. So a few of the pairs have been used. But these are what brand new unused hands would look like. And you can see they're very beautifully blued steel. Um, they either have um, nickel plated brass or aluminum um, collets on them or bushings. I believe those are probably nickel plated brass. So it's very neat to see. You see there's a whole bunch in there. Um, so if I ever do a full restoration on one, I can put some very nice hands on it. Alarm spring and barrel fits Big Ben only, and there's no mention of what model that fits. So I'm assuming that this is back when there was a style 2 or 1 only movements out there. And... Um, well, alarm spring, it could fit quite a few, but I'm thinking that's probably a package that's original to this box, back when there was only the Style 1, 1A, and 2s. As you can see, there's a brand new mainspring. That's a proper length mainspring right there, still in the mainspring box or barrel. And I see there's still quite a few little goodies in here. There's a lot of loose parts in here to look at. But we're going to look at the package stuff first. <clears throat> There's a set of hands in that same style that I just showed you. One just fell out. It says Big Ben Chime. And I am I am betting that these are style 3 hands. You see that that's, that's brass and not nickel plated. And I, so I believe those would be correct for a non-luminous um, style 3 uh, Big Ben dial. And you can see it's a totally different style of paper. It's kind of a waxed paper. And someone has written chime on there. There's the alarm spring for a baby bin. So this is not the time side. This is the alarm side. As you can see it's a little mainspring clamp there. Baby Ben Nickel Alarm Indicators, and it says tw someone's crossed out 12 and written 3. There's only one in there right now, unfortunately, but that is a nickel-plated... It looks like it's blued, actually. If it's blued, it's for a non-luminous dial. If it's nickel-plated, it's for a luminous dial, Baby Ben, but that's very cool. And it looks like it is for a style because I can see the tail of the hand there. Looks like it's for a style 1, 1A, or style 2. Okay, these are for... It says there's three in here, and I'm only seeing two. This is going to be for a style 3, or 4, or maybe 5 um, 
non-luminous dial, but I'm betting from the way this package looks, this was made for a Style 3 baby bin, because notice there's no head on the tail. You see this, the Style 1, 1A, and 2 big and baby bin clocks, the hand looks like that. The tail of the hand has a little bulb on the end. And this one there are very clearly it, it's plain. Big Ben hands, these are the non-luminous, there's two pairs in here, non-luminous version of of these hands. Unused. Style style one, one A and style two. And as you can see, the bluing has suffered a little bit of um, age wear. That's what the original packaging would have looked like if you bought these parts as replacements. And then the rest of the items in here are, there's some new parts that aren't in the packages. There's a lot of a lot of wear on some of these just from you know the rust on there that would have to be removed from just sitting and the oil the oil that was put on them to protect them before installation is obviously long since dried out and some of these springs look longer than others those all look the same length but that one that first one I pulled out of that package looked the spring looked significantly shorter there's what an older style um, barrel would look like with the bridge, with the brass bridge, with the holes. This one's got a broken hook, though, unfortunately, so this one would need repaired. And somebody has drilled a hole um, so that they can access these um, rivets, the tighten. You can see the punch marks there to tighten these rivets up. But as far as the wear there, I'm moving this back and forth. It's very similar to what the tolerances are on a brand new unused part. So if a new hook could be put on this, this would be usable again. This is a chime alarm um, mainspring bridge for a style, late style um, four and newer chime alarm. Here's another one. I think this one's a little... The gears look like they're a little chewed up. Or maybe not. That seems to be working just fine. Yeah, okay. That's a good bridge. There's a Style 3 and early Style 4 uh, mainspring bridge for a chime alarm. Okay, this is the one with the chewed up teeth. So this is the early pattern, and this is the late pattern with the nickel plated gears. Uh, they're either brass or steel. I think they're brass. And this is the later style with the steel gears that are blued. And so this needs a new... You could punch that out and put another gear on there, and I think this one would be okay if just that winding gear was replaced. A style one... And I mean a style 1A and style 2 alarm set knob. Baby Ben alarm spring. Uh, I thought this was for a series 66 clock, but I think I think that is for a series 66 clock. I think that's too small to be a chime alarm mainspring. And then here's two of them. I'd have to match them up with something in a package. That could be the mainspring for the chime alarm on the time on the on the alarm side. A mainspring clamp for a, a a baby bin or chime alarm mainspring. And then three very dirty but very uh, usable if they were cleaned mainsprings for either a baby bin or chime alarm. And I need to get uh, my calipers out and measure these to see which one is which because there are different part numbers for those springs. Anyway, that is the contents of the box. This video went on way too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
So Oklahoma Bridges here, and thank you for following along, and thanks for watching.